Hi everyone, I'm Laurel Marie Hickey. Welcome to What's Blank Got to Do With It. Today's topic, what's Tina, Tara, and Cindy got to do with it? Tina, Tara, and Cindy are terms that we use in the financial industry. They're lovely names as well, of course. Tina's been around the longest, and Tina is there is no alternatives which is a concept that suggests when investing that bonds and interest savings accounts are really in a low interest rate environment. Terra is there are reasonable alternatives. And really what it means is that equities may not necessarily be in favor or they may be equally performing as well as other alternatives such as bonds and high interest savings account. So investors really look for returns. And Terra is there are reasonable alternatives to investing besides equities. And then we have Cindy. Cindy is credit is now delivering yield. So we really have a fun play on these names, these words in the financial industry. And Tina, of course, has been around for years. Some of you may remember the former British Prime Minister, Margaret Thatcher, saying there is no alternative. I'm sure that if you were to Google it, you'd see, you would see it over and over again. She popularized the slogan when she was talking about capitalism. And during the periods of historically low interest rates in 2008, really we heard a lot about Tina. There is no alternative. Equities are the place to be. So more recently, of course, that term has come into the investment themes. And so I thought I'd share a little bit more about each one today. When interest rates are at rock bottom, investors certainly do turn to the stock market for returns. It means there's really no alternative for return. The stock market is the place to be for investing. Investors do a little bit of a dance between stocks and bonds. Investors will go into the market if they need the performance, they need the return, or if interest rates have come up, which we certainly have had that environment over the last while, will they take that money out of the stock market and put that into bonds or credit-like securities or high interest savings account? Wherever they can get the return is typically where a lot of investors go. And then we see those that really like a balance of both, meaning somewhere in the middle, a combination of stocks and a combination of bonds, credit like securities, high interest savings accounts, because the markets do move. It's very fluid. Bonds doing well, stocks doing well in this environment over the last while. So it's really been great to have a combination of both in this environment. The era of Terra really has come into play in March of 2022 when the Bank of Canada and the US Federal Reserve started to increase interest rates. So all of a sudden, there are alternatives to investing besides stocks, besides equities. The environment that we're in right now is a Cindy environment. Credit is now delivering yield. Cindy is having her day, absolutely. So the question is, what will the investment landscape be in the future. And we really never know if it's going to be a Tina, Tara, or a Cindy. Certainly over time, it has been Tina. For returns, the best return has been equities over the long run. But certainly it's important for you to invest in a way that you're aligned with. Investment firms have different investment profiles and it's important that you're matched to a profile that fits your risk tolerance. There are five. The first risk tolerance is income. The second is conservative. The third is balanced right in the middle. The fourth is growth. And the fifth is maximum growth. And the more conservative the profile, the more fixed income you have. The more the environment that you're hoping that it will be is a terror environment or a Cindy environment, where you are having yield, where there are alternatives to investing. But we really don't see those high interest rate environments that many times over history. Certainly, it's important to take advantage of the opportunities in the fixed income market while they are available. We have these high yielding solutions because we know that they won't be around forever. And it's hard to know, will we have a high interest rate environment for one year, two years, three years? And we find that sometimes the best place to be is right in the middle. But you really would have to have the risk tolerance to stay in a balanced profile. I think it's really important to understand the environment that you're in and understand what types of returns you're getting from various components of your portfolio. 
We have cash opportunities, which are high interest savings accounts. We have fixed income opportunities, which are bonds and credit investments, Canadian equities, US equities, international equities, and alternative. All portfolio managers build a portfolio with all of these components to it. So understanding what parts of your portfolio are impacted and whether it's a Cindy environment, a Terra environment, or if it's a Tina environment, as it has been for many, many years prior to this interest rate pickup. I hope that I piqued your interest a little bit about the environment that we're in and the investment landscape and really what clients are looking for returns and where they're going to get those returns from. I always say it's important to invest in a way that you're aligned with. Do your due diligence, work with a trusted advisor. And I'm always here if you have any questions. Until next time, I'm Laurel Marie Hickey with 3i Global Wealth of National Big Financial.